Yo, 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 what's up, people? This your boy, P. Ross, back in the building with another video. And as you saw, I'm rocking the Jellyfish G-Shock. But right now, what we're gonna be talking about is the March and Watch Co. MK2 Diver. This is the Blue Dial version. This retro diver chronograph, MK2, is inspired by retro motor racing, steel and leather, making it a stunning vintage style diver what this watch reminds me of is the tag monaco except for the mk2 has a more round case versus the monaco with a square case but you know what this mk2 watch this diver has really made me appreciate the tag monaco because i wasn't a big fan of it but when i got this watch it instantly reminded me of that now the case back looking at it it has etched in it a 1970s vintage racing helmet you know what i mean to go along with the aesthetic of this being a retro piece as you see this piece the strap has quick release pins you can actually go to their website which i will link down in the description and you can actually buy different straps for these watches you know what i mean j j just fly fly material if you ask me and again i do believe that while this is not a one-to-one -one copy of the tag Monaco, that this watch was heavily inspired by that watch. I feel like, again, this watch can stand on its own. I love, again, let me say this, I love the blue dial, okay, with the white going around the edge of the watch. The date window is at the six o'clock, and you know, honestly, I could have done without a date window but it's not a make or break for this watch, okay? But the date window is at the six o'clock. And again, I love the shape of this case. So let's get into the dimensions. All right, the case, it's a 43 millimeter case, 13 millimeters thick, lug width is 22 millimeters, 49 millimeters lug to lug. The case is brushed and polished 316L stainless steel. The crown is stainless steel with the logo etched in it. The crystal is sapphire, of course, with 5 ATM of water resistance. The movement is a Seiko VK64 chronograph hybrid Mecha Quartz. You understand what I'm saying? Luminova hands and indicators and around the, uh, the rim of the watch, you have a Tashi meter. Now, if I'm correct, if I'm not, correct me in the comments. The Tashi meter uh, can be used for, to measure the distance. Like if, if you a bomb is headed your way, you can actually time it with the Tashi meter, how many seconds it'll reach you. If I'm not mistaken, you know what I mean? I believe that's what the Tashi meter was used for. But if I'm wrong, yo, just let your boy know in the comments, all right? And again, as far as that dial goes, like I'm loving the orange second hand, you know what I'm saying? The white uh, minute and our hands. And also on the chronograph, I'm digging the orange hands too. You know what I mean? Like this watch, you could, you could switch this up with a whole lot. And here it is on the wrist. <laughs> Look at that, on the wrist, on the mother freaking wrist. That's fly as hell. I think this watch fits perfectly on my wrist you know what i'm saying which is about seven and a quarter you know what i mean so whew, yo but that strap is extra dope what would really set this off is if you got an orange strap from them a racing strap yo you would definitely be in the building for sure you know now check this out we got a couple close-ups you know what i'm saying of this piece you know, th this is actually a very beautiful piece. And how I feel about this watch, I feel like this watch is definitely a winner. You know what I'm saying? You know, again, it definitely reminds me, and I think it was inspired by the Tag Monaco, which, you know, I have a little bit more respect for. But uh, it's coming in at a, a 199 euros, but uh, that's like a little over $200 here in the U.S. So I definitely recommend this watch. You know what I'm saying? So this is your boy P. Ross, and we up out of here. Peace.